All right, so here's where I have their temporary setup. And this is in a corner of the house. It gets very warm and still stays warm at night. It does cool down. And so I just have this set up right here, the heating pad. And here is the gauge that never turns off. And you see I have it on low. See, there's off and there's low. All right, so here's this lockdown. Got a couple of, of uh, what are they, uh, fuzzies. All right, so we unlock it. All right, and let's open this up. And you can see the condensation, it's humidity in there. Let's go right for the temperature gauge and see what it is. It is just under 80 humidity and just 90 on temp. Here's a couple of the guys right now. All right, so let's grab a fuzzy or two. See if I can do this with one hand. So you can also feed guys this size in the paper bag or in their little shelter. So let's just take one of these guys over and go like that. And royal pythons are no notoriously shy and they won't always eat uh, pre-killed prey. Like if you buy uh, frozen pinkies and thaw them out, he's looking for it. He knows it's there, but I'm, di I'm distracting him. He's missed it. Look at that. I tap the side of the, the container and he's on it. <laughs> he's going to come towards me. You know, they have the pits in the front of their snout there where they can sense heat. They're not a pit viper, but they still have that. He's looking at me. It's under his... You can see where the pinky is, the fuzzy. He's totally missed it, and I can't reach in there. All right, so I've kind of scared him off. Let's open up... Oh, there's the other guy. Let's see what the other guy does. Okay, where is he at? <laughs> kind of tagged him. Let's back his container up a bit. He might be kind of shy because I kind of dropped it on his head. There he is. Let's see what he does. So if they won't eat, obviously, you know, you got a camera in their face, you're right here talking. You might want to have you might have to leave it and walk away. But he looks like he might be interested. Or he's just looking for a place to hide. This guy is coming back. Look at that, he is totally in coiled strike position. If I stuck my hand down there, he would tag me. He's saying, where's my food? I'm sweating because it's hot in here and he can totally see my body heat. With those pits along the front of his mouth, his snout. He is totally locked onto me. Because I'm hotter than, ooh, 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 he struck. Look at that, I zoomed in and he struck, that's bizarre. Let's see, it's going to walk underneath him, see if he fills it. He is totally locked onto me because I am so hot here. My, I'm sweating. Oh, he might feel it. If I had tagged him in the nose with it when I dropped it in there, he might have went for it immediately. But I'm definitely distracting him. So if your snake won't eat, close up the cage and walk away. Yeah, I wish I could reach in there, but he will strike me. And it's not a big deal, but I still don't want to bleed. <laughs> I'm talking and he's seeing my, my oxygen, you know, my CO2 coming out of my mouth and the heat. He is sensing all of that. Come on, guy. It's back here. You're sitting on top of your food. What's this guy doing? The first day I got these two, I had them in the little containers they came in. I dropped the pinky in there each and they snagged them immediately. And so far, you're doing this setup with the paper towels. It looks pretty clean. I don't see any bugs or anything. Let's help this guy out. Oh, he got it. Look at that. That was just a matter of him seeing it. All right, so he got that one. The other guy is still looking at me. And I'm dripping sweat into their container. Oh, poor little guy. You know, in the wild, there's all kinds of animals in the wild that eat live prey. 
And, you know, there's a reason Phoebe's meowing because she wants to see the, the snakes. You know, all the meat eaters, the big cats, wolves, you know, they're there to clean up. They usually go after uh, prey that's weak or injured because the ones that are young and strong are too young and strong, you know, they get away. So these animals that are meat eaters are here to clean up. It's, if you ever read Darwin's theory, that's what it is. It's to make the next generation stronger. And these guys are never going to eat cat food. You know, you know, what I'm talking about is feeding snakes kibble. That's not going to happen. And cats have health problems because of it. Ideally, you want to feed any animal their natural diet raw, including people. So this guy, we're kind of stuck here. Let me open up the back. He is too excited about me to see, oh. Phoebe! Get out of here! <laughs> That's why you should lock the cats up. She just jumped on the, if I wasn't holding the, the, if I didn't have my hands on this, it would have flipped over with the snakes. The stupid cat, she jumped right on the edge of the container. I hope she didn't get water on my lens. Is there water on the lens? No. But I'm sweating because it's so hot in this side of the house. Okay. Well, there you go. If you have cats, keep them locked up when you're feeding. All right, this guy, I'm going to have to cover him up because he's going to strike me if I don't. So let's cover him up. Let's retrieve the fuzzy. Let's uncover him. And then let's drop the fuzzy in front of him. I might have to drop it on his head. Yeah, when I had larger pythons, I would never allow the cats in the room. I, I had a lock on the bedroom door because I didn't want to lose any cats because those pythons would eat 20 pound rabbits. Wow, this guy's proven to be a survivor. This pinky, I think, I think this pinky is uh, beating Darwin's theory. I don't want to get bit by this guy when he sees my finger. Okay, this guy's pretty smart. This fuzzy is like outsmarting everyone. Let's just drop it on his head. Let's hand feed him. There we go. I jerked the camera, sorry. So this guy's just spoiled. He wants to be hand fed. I used to hand feed my larger snakes too. Um, you just you just hold you know the tail of the of the rabbit or the rat. <laughs> and keep only the nose. You stand off to the side. I know it's stupid, but I mean, if you're intelligent, you can do it. Only stupid people uh, do things that get themselves injured. So this guy's here. He's curled up pretty tight. A lot of these guys like this will eat it inside, you know, in the middle of their coils. They'll never expose the animal to the outside and they'll keep them wrapped up the entire time. And that's just to ensure the animal isn't going to get away even though it's dead and also to make sure no other snakes or other predators take their food. So they got all the vitals in the middle protected. See, and he's just holding it down in there tight and he's just going to swallow it. He's going to push it right into his mouth. Look at that. I dropped a bead of sweat on the viewfinder. Dang it. I'm dripping sweat, man. It's so hot back in this corner. And it's nighttime. It's, it's after nine, or close to nine. It's dark out. So this guy's a lighter color than the other one. He's not quite a Paisal, but he's, uh, he's pretty light. There he goes. So snakes, when they're this size, will eat about once a week. These guys, I think, just ate earlier in the week, I think. I think it's been less than a week since I fed them. 
but they are hungry, as you could see. You don't want to overfeed them. Uh, that was real popular for people to do that when they first started keeping larger pythons, to get them up to giant sizes really fast. And I did that with a female Burmese. Um, I fed her a lot, and she got big fast. You know, it's not all as natural. And, but she was fine, and she laid eggs. She had a couple clutches when I had her, of, and only a slug in one of them. I had one that had no slugs in it at all. Oh, well, this guy's going to put on a show for us. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's a pig, man. He grabbed it head on and just wolfed it down. Look at that. It's still alive. Poor guy. Yeah. This guy's a little pig over here, man. And they usually open their jaw after they eat to realign it, snap it back in place. He's eating upside down. And I wouldn't be surprised to be struck at the camera right now. He's got himself all screwy. Look at that. He was twisted upside down. What's this guy doing over here? This guy's not as much as a pig. He's taking his time. Athena, what do you see? Athena's meowing in the corner. It must be a bug. All right. So he's wolfed it down. This guy's ready to strike again. He wants more. I wouldn't be surprised if he hit the camera. Okay. So let's get the bag out. Sorry about the camera jerking there. I had to wipe my face off. I'm dripping with sweat. Oh, that guy is totally... He wants some more. He's aggressive for a royal python. I wonder if he's a male. All right, we'll lock it up. Yeah, and I've, I've never wanted to uh, sex my snakes, you know, with the little tool you stick in there. Okay, so here's the bad kitty that jumped up on the snake cage. You are a bad kitty, Phoebe. <laughs> She's like, is that a snake you're handing me? Okay, I'm sweating bad back here. <laughs> This is the south, oh man, cat hair or something. This is the southwest east corner. Yeah. Cat hair, oh man. I'll spit on my shirt, it's dirty. I can wash it, it's laundry night. <laughs> Sorry, I had cat hair or something in my mouth. So yeah, this is the south end of the house. It goes east to west. So it gets really hot here. And there goes my 9 o'clock alarm. We know it's 9 o'clock now because the alarm is going off. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'll do more different health videos and things like that, other subjects on this channel. Uh, but that's it for today. Subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in.